Hi there, I'm Cheese, and this is uh, Let's Look at Beast Lord, which is a game in early access from Star Union, the developers of The Ants, and uh, yeah, let's just take a look at it. So it just crashed on me, it is in early access, so that's not entirely unsurprising. Okay, so yeah, I did log into it earlier for like one or two seconds, and what I did notice is the graphics in it are breathtaking. It's so beautiful. Alright, this is a great place for us to build a lima habitat. The lemurs can grow and construct territory. So this is all looking very, very familiar. Like, very familiar. Lima. Lemurs are reliable builders. We can send them to help construct the territory. Alright. Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. Contrasting colors look great. I don't know if it looks this good on your device, but the, the, the dark areas of the screen are really well done, and that's something that's been missing, like shading has been missing from mobile games. Like, it's not very often that you'll see stuff with, like, good shading. Yeah, so, like, the... It, I mean, maybe they'll rework some of the artwork. It is early access, and... But, yeah, some of the, like, tooltips, stuff like that, that they're literally just clones from the ants. Like, the build icon. Chapter 1, Rescue Cub. Okay, um, so I, I'm pretty sure I know where this is going. It is... Wow, look at that. It is beautiful, though. Absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, so this is going to be like the leaf collection area. Build. Leaf. Yeah. Okay. Hey, at least they did away with that centerpiece that you can't get rid of in the ants. It's the worst. It is gorgeous, though. Wow. I really like the butterfly animation. That's awesome. Like, they really put some polish into this. Yeah, it's, the, it's a reskin of... So far, the tutorial is a complete reskin of the ants. I'm kind of interested in seeing what the anthill skin, like, on the outside looks like. That fox is holding a snake like it's a weapon. So this is the, like, when you're clearing territory in the ants? Like, inside your anthill? But yeah, the, the gradual shading is way better on this. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to build... What is it that you build first in the ants? It's the... I think it's the guards. Maybe. It's been a while since I've been through the tutorial. Yeah. Carnivore. Okay, so this would be shooters? Um, it's a place to summon carnivores. They defend the territory and eliminate the invaders swiftly with their sharp fangs. Falcon habitat. Cool. Maybe these are shooters? Okay, falcons are scouts. Cool. So this tutorial is different. Because I'm, I'm certain that you don't build the... Um... I'm certain that you don't build the uh, scout thing right away, do you? Maybe you do. Oh, you might. Because that unlocks the rest of the tile. So it does seem like they've used a lot. Like, a little bit, maybe too much of the fundamental workings of the ants for this. But it seems like this is their dev team's like passion art project. Just to make it as pretty as possible. Chapter 3, find food. Food is nature's mercy. Okay, so this is clearing land. Yeah. Orchard. That animation takes too long. This was always a gripe of mine from the ants as well, as that animation just takes too long. And, like, it's an unskippable animation, so, like, when you're clearing out big swaths of land or, like, redesigning your anthill, it takes forever. Grasses. So, so far we have leaf, water, food. 
Which, if this is anything like the ants, we're going to have way too much food. Uh, so leaf would be... Or grasses would be mud. Okay, so we're going to start speed running this. I'll probably speed it up in post, because... Or just cut it out. I I'm not sure whether you'll want to watch this whole tutorial. But, um... I'll come back when something interesting happens. It is very, very pretty. Like, if that's all they were going for, nailed it. Like, the ants, but way prettier. Can I just make that elephant go places? <gasps> that's so cool! I can make the elephant just go places! And he, and he, at me. That's adorable. What happens if I, like, make the elephant go over here? He's, like, rounding them back up. That's cute. So, they've taken the ant, they've redone the artwork, and now they're, like, working backwards from the top down to make a different game. Is how I'm seeing this so far. This is very odd. I'm not sure if my game is... There we go. Okay, so it starts making stuff take time after level, like, three or four or whatever. Okay, got it. What is this? That's got to be a newbie teleport, right? That has to be a newbie teleport. So it allows you to change servers if you're on the wrong server. Like, I'm going to go to server 3 regardless, because that's where my friends are. Um, toxic Blair. Their thorns are poisonous. Growing them helps you defend your territory. So that is the... Okay, I know what that is. Uh, it's the toxic fungi or whatever. The thing that does, like, static damage every time you're hit, whether you have troops home or not. I mean, this is a cute animation, but it is going to get old. Uh, and this is sand. Okay, no, this is like, um, alright, that's like carriers, I'm assuming. To build this, which is a fortification with the territory entrance. Okay, so this is the the entrance, the defense building. There we go. Now we can go and view the world. This is beautiful. And again, this is something that the ant seems to be missing is shadows. Especially with the newer stuff. None of it has shadows on the map, I don't think. I'm not sure if Godzilla has a shadow. Join an alliance. All right, so... I am on server 3. There we go. So... He just places one on the map for you. Got it. Alright, so... Uh, how do I find an alliance? I don't really want to watch this. Alright, so it's just going to take me right back in. Okay, so I am at the, like, game game now. I'm out of the tutorial, I believe. I can do stuff. I can go into settings. Cookie cutter. Uh, leaderboards, uh, yeah, I'm gonna rename myself, Lord Jesus, there we go, change name for free, okay, so it doesn't give you an item to do it, that's nice, successfully, okay, I am a VIP one, uh, it's a thousand gems for that first pack, I don't know how long I'll play this for, because it's just the, um, role management? What? Ha! Huh. Look at that! This game actually allows you to have multiple accounts throughout multiple servers. That's nice. I like that. So let's go to leaderboards. Let's go to territory power ranking. I want to build to the alliance center. So the benefits icon is exactly the same. They've redone some of the artwork over here. Uh, Kingdom Beasts. Light Contract. Warzone Supply. They don't have the 99 cent pack. That's weird. Alpha Growth Plan. Uh, can't do that yet. Come on. There we go. Is this the Alliance Center? Alliance Center. Yep. And then I'm going to look for... Oh, I don't want a quick apply. Stab it. Manage. Recommend. 
Yeah, I don't know why that's called recommended A N I. Any apply. Confirm. I'm gonna say I'm a warmonger. There we go. Alliance size is 50. Interesting. I wonder if that gets bigger or not. Attendance. Uh huh. Yeah, this is all just the same. Same old, same old. There's the. There's the packs. Let's see. All right. So yeah, without going too much further into it, I'm gonna round off with saying that this appears to be just a semi cookie cutter of the ants. Maybe with a few tweaks and a completely overhauled art set. And it is by the same devs, and I mean, what works, what sells, why not? So, with that, thank you, bye-bye, subscribe, and, um, I don't know, the link for this game will be down in the description. Bye-bye.